look at calculating the parameters of an irregular shape. Remember the parameter is the sum of all lengths. Regardless of what shape it is, we just calculate the outer side, the boundaries. So these are some of the irregular shapes. They can look like this, where it looks like a triangle, a rectangle, but you can see that not all sides are equal. Or also the second one, the green one, the sides are also not equal. Or the orange one, where it has five sides. So those we call irregular figures. How do we then calculate this? Remember, the parameter, we add all sides. So calculate the parameter of an irregular side or irregular figure with five sides of the length 14 centimeter. 9 centimeter, 11 centimeter, 13 centimeter, and 7 centimeter. Easy. We just add all of them. 14 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 7. And that will give us 54. And that is our parameter of this irregular figure. Easy. But sometimes you don't get just the irregular figures. You get what we call yeah. composite figures. It means they are built up with by two figures together. So it can be a square and a triangle or a square and a circle or a triangle with a square. You'll never know. But a composite figure means it's got multiple figures to it. To calculate the perimeter, still the same. We add all the sides. So let's look at this composite figure. As you can see, on this composite figure, we can clearly see that there are two figures here. If I draw a line here, you can see that this, the top part is a square, and the bottom part is a rectangle. But because we're calculating a composite side, we can make assumptions as well. Because if from this side to that side is 4 cm, and from here to there, from this side to this side is 30 cm, but we are not given this area there. This area is not given to us. We need to know what is this area. And also we are not given that part. But we are given this area, we know that it is 25. So we have multiple things here that we don't know and multiple things that we know. So it means to get that part, I'm going to use a yellow to get the yellow part. We'll have to subtract it from the 25 part, but because we know what this 8 is or the length from there, therefore it means is the difference will give us that. So the difference of 8 to 25 will give us this. So this part, let's go get a new color. So this will be 25 minus 8 will give us the yellow part. What about the red part? This part here. This part, we can calculate using the 30 and the 4 because the difference between 30 and 4 will give us the red part. So this red part will be 30 minus 4. So let's calculate the composite parameter. Calculate the parameter of the composite figure above, which is the one that we just did. Remember, 
the parameter we add in all sides. So we're going to add 4 plus 25 plus 30 plus 8 plus 30 minus 4 plus 25 minus 8 because we're adding all the sides. And that's the equation. It's 30 plus 25 plus 8 plus 4 minus or oh, plus 30 minus 4 plus 25 minus 8 because we're adding all the sides. And if we work out what is inside the bracket, 30 minus 4 is 26 and 25 minus 8 is 17. Therefore, 30 plus 25 plus 8 plus 4 plus 26 plus 17 will give us 110. And that's the perimeter of the composite side. And it will be 100 centimeters. Thank you.